best mates. For the city is best, you better hold it. And this course, you're gonna wanna go the distance. So if you can't integrate, then just forget it. That ain't what you want, that ain't what you want. Cat gets what you want, cat gets what you want. First things first, we'll be starting with the limits and the properties. Evaluating graphs analytically. Plug it in and factor them, and then you solve it graphically. Numerically, continuity, make sure you don't forget differentiability. Don't get confused with these. Just get sad, it's continuous. Doesn't mean it's gonna be differentiable. Let's see, watch out. Don't forget these limits have opposite sides. Cause if you do, you'll be lying on the bathroom floor crying. Rick, hit me with the calculus. You cannot derive, you're a tourist. I be studying here with a glass face. So if you ain't gonna help, then just forget it. Hey, that's good, Captain, but you're forgetting something big, man. If you wanna do all this, you gotta know how to differentiate. Let Cam give you a quick lesson. He'll review all the types, cause if you don't know these, then well, you're in for a pretty bumpy ride. Right? Okay, derivative of x to the n is n times x to the n minus 1. Easy, good, cause that's just the basic stuff. Now the trig functions y from sine of x is cosine x. Easy, straight, uh, then you walk the holes, flex it with them checks. Comes the chain rule. Derivative of f of u is f from u times du over dx. Show your work, all the parts, don't make it too complex. Cause soon you're gonna have to integrate, just reverse these steps. Wait, this problem's still wrong. Dude, you forgot to change the radians. Uh, you didn't even add a constant. Here, you guys want to get a five? Hey, play that beat back real quick. You keep wondering why you keep getting these wrong. It's because you don't pay attention to the details. What you done? Hello, my name is Usman Anwar. Um, this is an introduction video. Um, my background is I have a MBA and I have Masters of Science in Engineering Mathematics, which is Applied Mathematics. And I also have Bachelors of Science in Electrical Engineering. I have worked as an engineer in a semiconductor industry in military and automotive semiconductors. I also have worked in wireless industry as a software quality assurance. Um, I have uh, worked on smartphone and cell phones. Also, I have worked in uh, educational solution uh, industry, which is uh, uh, TI calculators and uh, other educational solution products. And I have been a professor of engineering and business mathematics um, for the last few years. Uh, some of the courses I have taught and uh, tutored are, um, I have uh, engineering calculus one, two, and three, uh, business calculus, uh, finite math, business math, which is pre-calculus, uh, trigonometry, college algebra, and more. Uh, I have uh, I have some examples uh, of uh, this is examples of calculus two. The first example is trig substitution, where the substitution is x equals sine theta dx is cosine theta d theta, and this is used to solve this integration from zero to half x cubed square root of 1 minus x squared dx when you do the trick substitution as x sine theta and dx cosine theta then you will end up solving this so, uh, integration uh, then i have also a trick substitution of, uh, of integration dt over t squared square root of t squared minus 9 this is obviously the trig substitution is t is 3 sig theta dt is 3 sig theta tan theta d theta then you do the trig substitution you will end up with square root of t squared minus 9 over 9t plus c so this is basically just an overview of the solution um, 
And here I have uh, another example. This is volume by cylinder shell uh, method, which is a disk method. And this, this is when you rotate uh, the area bounded by y equals x squared and y equals 8 minus x squared about the x equals 2. Uh, you sketch the, gra the region, of course, then the radius is r equals 2 minus x. The third conference is 2 pi r, which is 2 pi times 2 minus x. The height is f of x, which is the top curve minus the bottom curve. So when you do that, the, the height is 8 minus 2x squared. Then the volume is just from a to b 2 pi r f of x dx, that's the integral of that. So that is from minus 2 to 2, 2 pi, r is 2 minus x, and the f of x is 8 minus 2x squared dx. When you integrate this, we'll end up with 256 pi over 3. Then I have another uh, example, uh, calculus 2, and this is, is representing a function as a power series. So this is a derivative of 1 over 1 plus x. It represents this as a power series. So this is the same as representing d by dx, this power series 1 minus x plus x squared minus x cubed plus x to the 4. This is a standard. So when you take the derivative of this, this is minus 1 over x plus 1 squared. And you take the derivative of the power series, which is minus 1 plus 2x minus 3x squared and so on. So this can be written in a sigma notation, n equals in a sum notation, n equals 1 to infinity minus 1 to the n, n times x to the n minus 1. Then I have here another power uh, representation of uh, ln 4 minus x. This is the same as the integration of minus 1 over 4 minus x dx. So that integration is the same as ln 4 minus x. And this can be written as 1 over 1 minus x over 4. Then this can be written in a power form. Uh, the power series of this is 1 plus x over 4 plus x over 4 squared plus x over 4 cubed plus x over 4 to the 4 plus x to the 4 over 5. And so on dx, when you integrate this, you will end up minus 1 over 4, the integration of... 1 is x, then the integration of this is 1 over 4 x squared over 2, 1 over 16 x to the third over 3, plus 1 over 64 x to the 4 over 4, plus 1 over 256 x to the 5 over 5. Then this can be written in a sum notation minus 1 over 4. So the x's are x to the n plus 1. They are increasing by 1. And the 4's uh, the are increasing by 2. That's four, uh, they are 4 to the n. Then you have 2, 3, 4, 5, which is n plus 1. So, okay. So this is basically the power series of ln minus ln 4 minus x. Then I have here uh, area in a polar coordinate. If you have r equals 6 cosine theta, to write this, uh, to find the area of this in a polar coordinate, this polar coordinate, it is a equals 9 pi. So in this, this is basically a equals from 0 to pi over 2 half r squared d theta, which is from 0 to pi over 2 half r is 6 cosine theta. Then this cosine squared theta can be written as 1 plus 2 cosine 2 theta. Then when you integrate this, you will end up with 9 pi. So you take the integration from 0 to pi over 2, which is only the top 
half circle then this times 2 is you just double it then you have the whole circle okay. then I have another uh, trick substitution uh, so this is the integration of dx over x squared square root of x squared minus 4. So this is obviously x equals 2 sig theta is the, the trick substitution. Then dx is 2 sig theta tan theta d theta. Then when you substitute, you will end up with uh, 1 over 4 cosine theta d theta integration when you integrate that is 1 over 4 sine theta plus c then this is uh, when you draw this triangle this is theta so sine is opposite over hypotenuse which is square root of x squared and minus 4 over x And I have here uh, some uh, beautiful three-dimensional uh, uh, pictures of uh, this is to show the beauty of mathematics uh, beside every technology we enjoy. Uh, here are some beautiful math images. Um, so um, this is actually, this is a, a polar, this is a trigonometry graphs those are in polar coordinates graphs then I have here area of surface of revolution examples so for example here you have uh, a cylinder so when you cut this so the surface area of the cylinder is simply just the area of this rectangle okay uh, then I have area area between two curves. So to find the area of between the two curves in calculus, you basically integrate the top minus the bottom from A to B. So you will get this area, the top minus the bottom integration, then you evaluate it from 0 to 1, for example, here. And this is the top curve minus the bottom curve. You integrate from 0 to 1. Then this is the, uh, it is the right curve minus the left curve. You integrate this from minus 2 to 4. And here also you have the integration of the right curve minus the left curve integrated from minus 2 to 4 again. Okay. Then I have here uh, examples of uh, some pictures of volume by slice method. For example, this is a sphere. When you cut this sphere into disks vertically, then you add all this disk, then you get the volume of this, the sphere. And so on, the other, also the other figures the same. Then I have here volume by cylindrical shell. You revolve this figure and you get, and you end up with, uh, you will, you will integrate the, you will cut basically a cylindrical shell out of the, 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 the figure and those are, you add those, you integrate those, and you will end up with integrate. Uh, you will end up solving the integration basically. Okay. Here I have examples of calculus two. Um, the first example already we have seen. This is when the setup is x equals sine theta dx is cosine theta d theta. When you integrate this, we have seen, we have seen this example. Uh, and I have another example, which is we have seen this example also, where t is 3 sig theta, d theta is 3 sig theta, tan theta, and you integrate this. Then I have an example of partial fraction integrals. So 
if you, you want to integrate x cubed minus x squared plus x plus 2 over x to the 4 plus 5x squared plus 4. So if you factor the bottom into x squared plus 1 times x squared plus 4, then this can be written as partial fraction ax plus b over x squared plus 1, cx plus d over x squared plus 4. Then you integrate this, you find the values of a, b, c, and d. Then this is the integration of this is tan inverse of x plus half ln x squared plus 4 minus tan inverse x pi over 2 plus c. Then I have here integral of uh, application of integral area between two curves. So this is how the right curve is y uh, x equals e to the y, and the left curve is equal to y squared minus two. So the area is the right minus the left you integrate it from minus one to one from bottom to top so when you integrate you will end up with e minus one over e plus ten over three then here i have another example is uh, polar equation and cartesian equation this is a conversion from polar to cartesian cartesian to polar so the a is polar to cartesian so you have r square is sine 2 theta equals 2 to convert this into cartesian equation so this is r square is sine 2 theta add this equals 2 which is r square 2 sine theta cosine theta equals 2 which is 2 r sine theta r cosine theta equals 2 but we know that r sine theta is y r cosine theta x that is 2x 2y x equals 2 that is x y equals 1 which is y equals 1 over x then cartesian equation to polar for example if you have y equals 2x plus 5 then to convert this y equals 2x plus 5 which is y is r sine theta equals 2 x is r cosine theta plus 5 that is r sine theta minus 2 r cosine theta equals 5 that is r equals 5 over sine theta minus 2 cosine theta and they have an application of volume by cylindrical method so this is you have two curves y equals x to the third y equals x and you are revolving this about x axis so you identify the outer radius which is x the inner radius is x cubed then the washer the disk area is ax equals pi the outer radius x squared minus the inner radius pi x cubed squared so that is pi x squared minus x to the six then the washer volume is from a to b ax dx he integrates this so that's from zero to y pi x squared minus x to the six dx which is pi x cubed over three minus x to the seven over seven he integrates this you will get four pi over 21 so that's the area between these two curves then i have another application of uh, volume by cylindrical shell so this we already have seen this is the volume ro rotated uh, the area between y equals x squared and y equals 8 minus x squared about x equals 2 this case the graph the radius is r equals 2 minus x the third confidence is 2 pi r which is 2 pi times 2 minus x the height is f of x which is the top curve minus the bottom curve 8 minus 2x squared then the volume is from a to b 2 pi r f of x dx for just from minus 2 to 2 2 pi 2 minus x times 8 minus 2x squared dx 
we integrate this you will end up with 256 pi over 3 okay then I have another example of the arc length in a polar coordinate uh, in the parametric parametric uh, arc coordinate so the parametric is where x x equals 8 cosine theta y is a sine theta where sine t where t is between 0 and 2 pi so dx by dt is minus 8 sine t dy by dt is 8 minus uh, 8 cosine t then the arc length is from a to b square root of a dx square dx by dt squared plus dy by dt squared integrated with respect to time with respect to t basically so this is from 0 to 2 pi so minus 8 sine t squared plus 8 cosine t squared dt when you integrate this you will end up with 16 pi so that is the arc length of this parametric equation then i have area of in polar coordinate this we already have seen before so this is r equals 6 cosine theta sketch the graph so the area is you find the area of the top half circle from 0 to pi over 2 half r squared d theta when you integrate this then you double this by multiplying it by 2 that will give you the area of the whole circle which is 9 pi then I have here um, this is representation in a, of the power series so this is we already have seen it is d by dx of 1 over 1 plus x so this is the same as the derivative of this power series 1 minus x plus x squared minus x cubed and so on so the derivative of this is minus 1 over x plus 1 all squared then the derivative of the power series is minus 1 plus 2x plus minus 3x squared the signs are alternating so this is minus 1 to the n then you have 1 2 3 and so on that is n then x to the 0 to the 1 to the 2 to the third to the fourth that is x to the n minus 1 and they were n is from 1 to infinity then I have another power series which is ln 4 minus x this is the same as minus integration of 1 over 4 minus x dx which is minus 1 over 4 1 over this can be written as 1 minus x over 4 then this is minus 1 over 4 integration of this power series which is 1 plus x over 4 plus x over 4 squared plus x over 4 cubed plus x over 4 to the 4 and so on then this can be written in a sigma in a sum notation where n equals 0 to infinity x to the over 4 to the n dx then when you integrate this this is the same as integrating this power series so the integration of this is ln 4 minus x then the, the integration of the power series is minus 1 over 4 x plus 1 over 4 x squared over 2 plus 1 over 16 x cubed over 3 plus 1 over 64 x to the 4 over 4 plus 1 over 256 x to the 5 over 5 and so on so this can be written in a sum notation minus 1 minus 1 over 4 n equals 0 to infinity the x's are the power are increasing so it is to the 0 to the second to the third and so on so that's x to the n plus 1 4 to the n so then the you have 2 3 4 and so on that is n plus 1 then i have this is my clearance series of uh, f of x 2 
pi x so the Maclaurin series of this is 1 minus 2 pi squared over 2 factorial x squared plus 2 pi to the 4 4 factorial x to the 4 minus 2 pi to the 6 over 6 factorial x to the 6 2 pi to the 8 over 8 factorial x to the 8 and this is basically where this can be written in a sum notation uh, from minus 1 to the n this is alternating so 2 pi to the 2n over 2 pi 2n factorial x to the 2n so to find the uh, radius of convergence you, know, you take the limit as n approaches infinity of a n plus 1 over a n so that is you will end up with 0 that means the radius of convergence is infinity that means it converges for every value of x then I have number this example of Taylor x series for f of x equals sine x at a equals pi over 2 so this is this Taylor series you will end up with 1 minus 1 over 2 factorial x minus pi over 2 squared plus 1 over 4 factorial x minus pi over 2 to the 4 plus minus 1 over 6 factorial x minus pi over 2 to the 6 plus 1 over 8 factorial x minus pi over 2 to the power of 8 so you can write this in a sum notations from minus 1 to infinity minus 1 to the n 1 over 2n fact 2n factorial times x minus pi over 2 to the 2n so to find the limit, uh, the uh, radius of convergence of this, we take limit as n goes to infinity, a n plus 1 over a n, it will end up with 0. That means the radius of convergence is infinity. That means it converges for all values of x. Then I have here centroid region uh, application of calculus centroid region to find the centroid uh, the centroid of region of uh, the the area bounded by y equals 2 minus x squared and y equals x uh, if first you sketch the, the region find the, in, the intersecting values by setting 2 minus x squared equals to x then you will end up with a is minus 2 b is 1 then the area is from a to b top curve minus bottom curve dx which is from minus 2 to 1 2 minus x squared minus x so you will end up with 9 over 2 so then to center of re uh, centroid of the region is x bar y bar to find x bar it is 1 over a from a to b x f of x dx which is 2 over 9 from 2 to from minus 2 to 1 you integrate this you get minus 1 over 2 y bar is 1 over a from a to b 1 over 2 f of x squared dx which will end up 2 over 5 that means the centroid of this the centroid of this region is uh, x bar y bar minus half and 2 over 5. Okay. And here are some examples of calculus 1. Um, the first example is find the limit using graphic method. So this is as limit x approaches minus 4 and a half so minus four and a half is here from the left is this negative minus from the left so that means if you walk in this curve from the left you will end up at three so x the y value is three then limit as x approaches minus four 
and half from the right you walk only when you walk on this curve from the right you will end up minus six so that means the the limit from the left from the right is minus six so the limit from the right is not equal to the limit from the left that means the limit does not exist that means limit as x approaches minus four and a half f of x does not exist so d f of x of minus four and a half you stand here and you look up it is a whole so down it is minus six so that is the value of f of minus four to the half is minus six so this means this function is discontinuous you have a hole and it's obviously you can see from the graph uh, then i have an example of limit at infinity so given f of x equals x squared plus 5x plus 6 over x squared and minus 4 so this is equal to uh, if you factor the top is x plus 2 times x plus 3 you factor the bottom it's x plus 2 times x minus 2 x plus 2 cancels x plus 2 so this is x plus 3 over x minus 2 so to find the x-intercept you simply set the numerator equal to zero which is x plus three equal to zero that is x equals minus three then to find the y-intercept you simply put x equal to zero so zero zero here so this is minus three over two then to find the vertical asymptote we simply set the denominator equal to zero which is x minus two equal to zero that is x equals 2 then to find the whole you find you set the eliminated part which is x plus 2 x plus 2 you set that equal to 0 then x equals minus 2 is the whole then to find the horizontal asymptote you take limit as n goes to infinity of the this one or you can actually take of the x plus 3 over x minus 2 you will end up with 1 so this is basically you have all the information you need to graph this this uh, rational function so then the next example i have is a uh, physics uh, application or uh, in in calculus so so you have distance formula is given s of t of a better uh, is given 100 minus 10t plus 0.01t cubed so to find the distance at time t equals 2 then this is t equals 2 s of t simply substitute 2 you will end up with 120.08 meter then to find the velocity at time t equals 2 then the velocity is the derivative of the distance is velocity so you take the derivative of this which is 10 plus 0 0.0013 squared then you substitute 2 into that equation so that is you will end up with this is a equation you will end up with 10.12 meter per second then the derivative of velocity is acceleration if you take the derivative of this which is 0 0.0306 t then you evaluate this at 2 you will end up with 0 0.12 meter per second squared okay i have another uh, this example is uh, you have this cardboard you have uh, uh, it is a square 12 by 12 then you cut it in each corner x by x then you fold it you get this box so then the cardboard is the width and length is 12 minus 2x because you cut x by 2x from each side then um, the height is x 
So the volume is 12 minus 2x squared times x. That's area of base times height, which is length times width times height. So then to maximize, to find the maximum volume, and the minimum volume for that matter, it takes a derivative. The derivative of this is 144 minus 96x plus 12x squared. So that's the first derivative. If you take the second derivative, it is minus 96 plus 24x. So if you set the first derivative equal to 0, then you will end up solving this equation. You will end up x equals 2 and x equals 6 then one of them will maximize the volume, will give you maximum volume, and the other one will give you minimum volume. So the way to find which one is max, which one is mean, is you evaluate this 2 and 6 to the second derivative. So that is v, of, v double prime of 2, it is negative, it gives you negative value, that means that is concave down, concave down minus you have maximum. So that two will maximize the volume. Then if you put the V double prime uh, six in the second derivative, you will end up with the positive value, positive value means concave up, concave up means you have minimum. So the minimum, the maximum volume is, you put this 2 into the volume equation, which is 2 times 2 is 4, 12 minus 4 is 8, 8 squared is 64, 64 times 2 is 128, that is the maximum volume. Then if you put 6 into the volume, 12 minus 2 times 6, which is 12 minus 12, which is 0, so that the volume is zero, that means you completely destroyed the cardboard. It's six by six, that means no volume, which is zero volume. Okay. So here I have area between the two curves. Example. So this is uh, you have the top curve, two x plus three, and I have a bottom curve which is x squared. Uh, so find the point of intersection by setting the top and the bottom equal to each other. So that will give you A equals minus 1, B equals 3, which are this points and this point. Then you integrate this top curve minus bottom curve from minus 1 to 3. So you will end up with 10.67. Then I have here an example of a... Uh, um, Related rate, which is the medical application, you have tumor, cancer, growth um, due to tumor. So if you have, uh, if it is in a sphere shape, and this tumor is shrinking due to medication, shrinking, so if it is shrinking at the rate of one millimeter per minus the radius, uh, at what rate is the volume shrinking, basically, um, when uh, the radius is 3 millimeter. So you take, so the volume of the sphere is 4 over 3 pi r cubed, then when you take the derivative of dv by dt is 4 pi r squared dr by dt, which is dv by dt is 4 over 3 pi 3r squared dr by dt. So that is to find d, dv by dt is simply substitute the r's and the dr. So we know the r is 3, dr by dt is minus 1. So that will give you dv by dt is minus 3, 36 pi millimeter cubed per month. What that means is when the radius is shrinking by one millimeter per month due to medication, then the tumor itself, the, sh the volume is shrinking 
minus 36 pi millimeter cube per month. That's a significant shrink, so eventually it will shrink and it uh, will disappear. That's, that's the idea. Okay, so num this another example is uh, related rate example again. So this is a, a boat is approaching, is a bullet to the dock by winch. And this winch is pulling this bug, the R is ch changing. And the X is changing, but the Y is not changing. So the height of the duck is the same. So then this is the question here is uh, while the 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 radius of the winch is changing by f uh, three feet per minute, uh, what is the change? How fast is the uh, the boat approaching the duck? when x is 12 feet okay so so the first thing is uh, in this triangle we need we know the x is 12 y is 5 then we need to find the r r is 13 which is r squared equals x squared plus y squared then um, r squared is equal to x squared plus y squared but y is 5 this is not changing so we can just put the 5 here then when you take the derivative of this whole thing with respect to time so this becomes 2r dr by dt then 2x dx by dt and the 5 squared disappear is constant 0 then you will end up with dx by dt equals r over x dr by dt so dx by dt is then we know r is 13 x is 12 and the dr by dt is given to uh, 3 then dx by dt is 13 over 4 so that is what that means is when the winch when the winch is changing by three feet three feet per minute then the board is approaching the dock at the speed of 13 over four feet per minute okay so this is uh, another ab uh, physics application um, maximum height of a projectile so this is the height of the projectile is given as minus x squared over 110 plus x plus 100 then find where y is the height and the x is the horizontal distance then find the the height of the the maximum height of this projectile so the maximum height is it takes the derivative which is minus x over 55 plus 1 he said the derivative equal to 0 that will give you x equals 55 and that x equals 55 gives you the maximum height which is h of 55 equals 127.5 that is the maximum height of the projectile after that maximum height it will drop okay so here i have a application of business calculus uh, the first uh, example is uh, it is a medical application blood flow uh, in the blood flow to the heart uh, where due to uh, due to the decrease in the in the art the the radius of the uh, when the radius of the artery increases due to medica medication or diet then the the percentage blood flow to the heart increases when it is uh, when the radius decreases the percentage to the to blood flow to 
percentage blood flow to the heart uh, decreases. So this is uh, the formula is F equals K R to the four. Then when you take the derivative of both sides with respect to time, dF by dt is equal to 4k r to the third dr by dt. Then when you divide both sides by, by f, then you will get the percentage blood flow. So this is 1 over f dF by dt is the percentage. 4 over r dr by dt is the percentage. So that means the percentage change of blood flow when R is 12 micrometer and dr by dt is minus 0.12 micrometer per year that means the radius is decreasing means it is it the radius is the day radius is decreasing by this rate that means the cholesterol is building up here so that means the percentage blood flow is going to decrease by minus four percent per year okay so that's blood flow on the other hand is the percentage rate of change of blood flow r is 12 micrometer and dr by dt this time is 0.18 micrometer per year this is the radius is increasing meaning there is there is a cholesterol there is a clean up of the in the artery the cholesterol is getting cleaned up so at that that means the percentage blood flow will increase to by six percent per year okay so this is an application, medical application of calculus. Then here I have a business application, marginal uh, and derivatives. So this is uh, the marginal uh, profit. Uh, so given uh, the cost function, 10x plus 0.1x squared. So this is for product by axis company um, and uh, re their revenue is 70x then their profit is revenue minus cost which is 60x minus 0.1x squared when you take the derivative of the uh, when you take the derivative of the pro profit you get 60 minus 0.2x it says that equal to zero that will give you the maximum profit and the maximum profit is uh, at x equals 9000 which is that gives you the maximum profit of 9000 when x equals 300 okay here i have another example it is medical ab application of calculus and this is blood pressure in in the artery which is blood pressure to the heart basically uh, is given the the <laughs> related the, the rate of pressure with respect to time to the heart is given my by, by minus 46.645 e to the minus 0.491 t where t is in time is time in seconds uh, then when the when the heart is at rest at time equals zero p is 95 then find the the function of the uh, the blood pressure basically p of t so when you integrate this nine uh, this minus 46.64 5e to the negative 0.491t dt you will end up with 95e to the negative 0.491t plus some constant k but we know that at t equals 0 it is 95 you do that substitution you will get k is 0 then the blood pressure is 95 e to the minus 0.491 to the t 
then at t equals 0.1 second that is uh, after the heart beat 0.1 second then the blood pressure is 90.45 then I have here an application of uh, business application maximizing profit in a monopoly market. So you have two kinds of market, monopoly market and competitive market. Monopoly market is when the market is monopolized by one entity or by one company. Then the competitive market is when you have several players in the market. So given the average cost is 300 plus 2x and the price is 60 minus 1 over 2x then the revenue is 60x minus half x squared which is p times x then the total cost is 300x plus 2x squared which is average cost times x then the total profit is minus 5 over 2x squared plus 300x which is revenue minus cost so then if it takes the derivative of the profit which is minus 5x plus 300 then it said that equal to 0 it will give the x equals 60 that is the maximum profit then find the p uh, the price at the optimal quantity which is the max the p that gives you maximum profit is when you plug that into the p function you will get with equal to 570 then the maximum profit is 9000 which is at p equals 6 p uh, at x equals 6 so that is 9000 Then I have here a plain trigonometry application, uh, uh, the examples. Um, so this is what is called the, 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 the cosine effect that is uh, between the radar reading and the actual uh, speed. So when so when cars are traveling at some speed then the radar is going to read at some angle then that reading is going to be less than the actual reading by cosine theta so theta is uh, uh, cosine theta is between minus one and one so when theta is uh, zero degree then then cosine theta is one then the reading is going to be equal to the actual reading but any other angle will be less so for example if you have this two automobile they are traveling at the same speed 75 miles per hour 75 miles per hour then the police points the gun the radar gun, the radar at these two vehicles so this one find the 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 radar readers for this is at 25 degree angle and it reads for this one at 15 degree angle then when you do uh, the actual reading is 75 the reading of the radar is uh, a 75 cosine 15 degree for the first car then the 75 cosine 25 degree for the second car then for car a it is 72 miles per hour for car p equals 68 miles per hour so the police if this is highway is the speed limit is 70 miles per hour the speed the the police obviously will stop car a and will let the car b go because the reading is less than the 70 miles per hour okay although both of them are speeding at the same they have the same speed okay then i have here um, angular and linear 
speed uh, of Earth uh, is when it is revolving uh, on its axis is for every 24 hours uh, where the radius of the Earth is 6,400 kilometer. Um, so find the angular speed. The angular speed is omega, which is theta over t, which is 2 pi over t is 24 times 60 minutes. So this is pi over 720 radian per minute. Then if you multiply this 60 times 60, this will be per second, which is 2 pi over 43,200 radian per second. So the linear speed at the North Pole or South Pole, where the omega is zero, so the angle is zero, then, then the radius is 64,000, but the, since the angle is zero, so the linear speed at North Pole and South Pole will be zero. Linear speed at the equator is r equals r omega which is 64,000 km per hour then it is omega is pi over 720 so that is 80 pi over 9 km per minute and that is per minute per second is 4 pi over 27 km per second then if it is in a uh, halfway from the equator which is 45 degree, then the R e, V is R omega, uh, omega R cosine uh, 45 degree, pi over 4, then that will give you 4 square root of 2 pi over 9 kilometer per minute, or per second is 2 square root of 2 pi over 27 kilometer per second. Then I have here an example of solving a, a trigonometric equation to 6x plus 1 equals 6x plus 3. And when you solve this equation, you will end up with x equals pi over 3 and the x equals 5 pi over 3. When you solve minus 2 sine squared x equals 3 sine x plus 1, so this is will give you at x equals 7 pi over 6, 3 pi over 2, and 11 pi over 6. So this is in a radian. Then in degrees, if you solve 6 squared theta plus times tan theta equals 2 tan theta, then when you solve this as this is theta is 0 degree, 45 degree, 135 degree, 180 degree, 225 degree, and 315. When you solve tan theta plus 1 equals square root of 3 plus square root of 3 cotan theta, then those are the angles are here, 60 degree, 135 degree, 240 degree, and 315 degree. Then here I have sketching a graph, uh, graph uh, translation. So the original graph is y equals 3 sine half x. Then when you shift this up vertically by 3, then you shift it. Also you have a horizontal shift which is at, uh, at x equals pi. Shift it to the right pi pi then this is a graph so the way you find this is first you find the amplitude the amplitude is simply 3 and the vertical shift or shrink there is no sh uh, there is the vertical sh shift is 3 then the period you find the period the period is uh, bx which is half x and that is equal to 2 pi, one complete cycle is 2 pi, that means x equals 4 pi is the period. Then the phase shift is, it said 1 half x minus pi over 2 equal to 0. Then this will, it will end up x equals pi, so that is shift to the right by pi. Then the, the rigid, uh, one complete cycle is 
between 0 and 2 pi and that is half x minus pi over 2 so that is add pi over 2 to all sides so it's pi over 2 half x less 5 over 2 so that is 1 over 2 x is between this then multiply everything by by 2 then x is between pi and 5 pi so to sketch the graph then 1 over 2x minus pi over 2 is between 0 and 2 pi then x is between pi and 5 pi then to find the values of y is 3 plus 3 sine half x minus pi over 2 so we know the value of this we simply plug those numbers here so that is 3 plus 3 sine 0 so this is this whole thing is 0 you plug 0 here so sine of 0 is 0 so that is 3 plus 0 which is 3 then you plug pi over 2 here which is sine of pi over 2 is 1 so this is 3 times 1 is 3 3 plus 3 is 6 sine of pi is 0 so that is 3 then sine of 3 pi over 2 3 pi over 2 is minus 1 sine of that is minus 1 so that is 3 times minus 1 is minus 3 3 minus 3 is 0 then at 2 pi it is again 3 so this is a graph so this graph is shifted up this sine curve shifted up by 3 which is a, the x-axis is here shifted up by 3 and also is shifted to the right by pi so here it is pi here is this is 2 pi that means this is pi okay. then here i have also the finding uh, 2 minus 2 i squared of 3 this is complex number to the power of 4 so this can be solved using trigonometry and uh, this gives you in that polar trigonometric form which is easily solved this is 256 cis 1200 degree which cis means cosine of this angle plus i cosine or i sine of this angle so this is this is in a polar form in rectangular form it is minus 128 plus 1 over 128 i squared of 3 which is 256 cis 120 which is 256 cis 120 so you evaluate so you will end up with 1 minus 128 plus i how do plus 100 28 i squared of 3 so b uh, number 20 is finding the cubic root of minus 2 square root of 3 plus 2 i and this is when you apply in a polar you convert this in a polar coordinate you will end up cubic root of 4 cis 50 cubic root of 4 cis 170 cubic root of 4 cis 270 degrees those are the three roots the cubic root of this function okay then i have here uh, business math uh, financial mathematics examples um, so this is linear programming using graphic method so you have here two kinds of product chainsaw and clipper cheaper so the chainsaw is x the cheaper is y then the hours are three and six the profit for the chainsaw is 150 and cheaper is 220 then we are trying to mag to maximize this profit the maximum available is you have only uh, 330 uh, the numbers are less or equal to 30 and the hours are 120 or less 
So that is maximize z equals 150x plus 220y. Subject is the constraint is x plus y has to be less or equal to 30. And 3x plus 6y has to be less or equal to 120. Then x, of course, x and y are greater than 0. So you draw this region, the feasibility region. So you have the x plus y is this curve and the 3x plus 6y is this curve. So the feasibility region is, so this is below the curve, below the curve, that means this is a visible region above the x-axis to the right of the y-axis. So this is feasibility region. So we know this is, this corner point is 0, 0. This corner point is 0, 20. This corner point is 20, 10. This corner point is 30, 0. So you identify the corner points, then you simply plug those corner points into the, to, into the objective function, which is the maximizing function, z equals 150x plus 220. So when you plug 0, you get 0. When you plug uh, 0, 20, you get 4,400. When you plug 20, 10, you will end up with 5,200. When you plug 330, you will end up 4,500. So that means the maximum you will get is 5,200. And that is when you have 20, x equals 20, which is changed, so is a 20. And cheaper is 10, which is y. Okay. So I have uh, this uh, another example product exchange. So this is product exchange between gasoline and the hidden oil. Uh, and uh, the relationship between them is y equals 125,000 minus 25x over 125 plus 2x. So to maximize, to find the maximum gasoline uh, you set the y equal to 0, which is the x-intercept, so y is 0, so you set the numerator equal to 0, so that's x equals 5,000, that is the maximum gasoline. Then to find the maximum oil, you set the x equal to 0, that's the y-intercept, and that is 1,000, simply you put x equal to 0. Then if the gasoline is 125, you put that into the, uh, that's a formula, the equation, then you will end up with oil is also 215, which is this is when they are equal. Okay. Then here I have uh, an example of feature value of compounded interest. So So a developer needs 80,000 to buy land. So he is able to borrow the money at 10% per year, compounded quarterly. How much will be the interest? So to find that, basically, the compounded interest formula is A equals P times 1 plus I to the N. You put the use this formula, you will end up with A equals the feature value is $131,089.32 and the interest is $51,000. So you can use this formula or you can also use TVM solver in TI-84. You simply put the numbers. So N is, you put the N in between the i, then simply you come here, you do the alpha solve, it will give you the solution. Then number 15 is also an uh, ordinary annuity, uh, a typical packet day smoker in, uh, in Ohio spends about 170 per month on cigarette. Suppose the smoker invested 
that amount at the end of each month that means the smoker quits smoking and puts this into an investment uh, that pay gives 5.3 percent compounded monthly what would be the amount in four years so you can use this formula this is s is the feature value of the com the uh, ordinary annuity r is what you put into the annuity in this case is 170 then times 1 plus i to the n minus 1 over over i so if you do that formula the smoker if that smoker quits smoking and put that money into the account in four years that smoker will have 280,686 that is the feature value of that annuity and of, of course the health on top of that so you can confirm this using TVM solver TI-84 so you just plug the numbers and do alpha solver you get the solution then I have another ordinary annuity payments application this time we are going to figure out how much payment you have to make so this is uh, John Smith will purchase uh, 300,000 home with, uh, a, with a 25 year mortgage so if he makes down payment 25% then how much he should put uh, he should uh, well, the interest is 2.9% compounded monthly. Uh, what will be the monthly payment? So you use this formula, the present value equals of annuity is R times 1 minus 1 plus I to the minus N over I. So then that will give you R equals PI over that. Then you use this formula to calculate the monthly payment will be 1055 uh, confirm your answer using financial TVM solver you can use a TVM solver also basically put the information alpha sol will give you this value then uh, I have here an application of metrics input output analysis of economics you have two economic uh, basic products wheat and oil and the relationship between them is this is a matrix relationship between them a and input output matrix 0 0.5 0 0.16 0 0.66 0 0.22 the demand function is 750 for the wheat and uh, 1500 for the oil so you do the the ti solver you can use i minus a all inverse d if you do that which is in identity 2 minus a in ti calculator identity 2 minus a inverse d you will end up with this solution that means for this to meet this demand you should have the width is x is 2,000 2,901 and the oil y which is 4,378 here also I have some examples of college algebra uh, this example is a rising balloon um, so you are standing here and you are watching the balloon rise and it's rising at 120 t so t is time uh, the distance between you and uh, the balloon uh, is d and the distance between you and uh, the base is 400 and that is constant so then the dt is is basically d is x squared plus y squared which is dt is square root of that 
dt is square root of square root of, of x squared plus y, then x we know it is 400 square that and y is 120t squared then when you solve this you will end up with equation 40 square root of 100 plus 9t squared then evaluate that in 8 minutes then you will end up with 1000 400 uh, 1040 that is how much the balloon rises in eight um, after eight minutes okay okay then I have here polynomial expansion using Pascal triangle this is the Pascal triangle uh, at the top one that means a plus b to the zero a plus b to the first a plus b to the second a plus b to the third a plus b to the fourth a plus b to the fifth so this but the those are coefficients so for example to solve 2x plus 5 to the 5 to expand this using pascal triangle so first it is a plus b to the 5 that means a to the 5 the coefficient is 1 to the 5 plus 5 a to the 4 so that is 5 a to the 4 b to the 1 plus 10 a to the third b squared plus 10 a squared b to the third plus 5 a b to the 4 plus b to the 5 basically you have the coefficient the the power of a are decreasing for five, uh, 5 4 3 2 and so on the power of b are increasing 0 1 2 3 4 5 so then simply just substitute a for 2x and b is y so you substitute you will end up with 32 x to the 5 plus a d x to the 4 plus a d x x to the 4 y plus a d x to the third y squared plus 40 x squared y cubed plus 10 x y to the 4 plus y to the 5 then i have an here an example of uh, uh, rational function x minus 1 over x plus 2 so to graph this first determine the vertical asymptote basically set the denominator equal to 0 so that is x equals minus 2 is the vertical asymptote then determine the horizontal asymptote so this is the horizontal asymptote is simply it is the uh, coefficient of x over coefficient of x which is 1 over 1 so y equals 1 is the horizontal asymptote determine the x intercept simply set the numerator equal to 0 which is x equals 1 is the x intercept to determine the y intercept simply put x equal to 0 which is minus half is the x intercept then to graph it simply you put the vertical asymptote the horizontal asymptote the x intercept the y intercept then that is a graph okay. then here i have examples of inequality so this is a y equal greater than x squared minus 4 so this is a curve this is where x squared shifted down by minus 4 and it is dotted because it is greater it is there is no equal here so then the the shaded area is a solution okay then the y equal or greater then this is not dotted is the same but this is not dotted because it includes it is greater or equal then this is above the curve when it is less it is below the curve dotted means it is less 
the solid line means it is less or equal okay it is below the curve means it is less and here i have development math examples uh, linear inequality so again if you have 5x plus 3y greater than 5 then put this in the slope intercept form which is y greater than mx plus b which is if you solve this 5x plus 3y 3y is minus 5x plus 15 then y is minus 5 over 3x plus 5 so that's the intercept the, then the slope is minus 5 over 3 b is 5 then this this inequality it is the shaded area is the solution area the feasibility re region and then you have this dot minus it is greater there is no equal sign here okay um, then here if you want to factor k to the minus 2 minus 2 56 k to the minus 10 uh, completely so you factor out the smallest power which is k to the minus 10 is the smallest so it's k to the minus 10 you factor that then it is what is left is k to the 8 minus 256 so that can be factored k to the 4 minus 16 k to the 4 plus 16 then this can be factored k squared minus 4 k squared plus 4 then this can be factored as k minus 2 k plus 2 then you will end up with k to the minus 10 times k minus 2 k plus 2 k squared plus 4 k square k to the 4 plus 16 okay. here i have an application of a rational expression so on a u.s map the distance between seattle is two cities is 4.125 then the other two cities the two cities are actually this much the distance between them is 1238 then on the same map what would be the distance between the other two cities Chicago and El Paso so first we need to read the problem carefully um, find the distance between Chicago and El Paso on a US map in inches that is a caution so determine the ratio equal uh, equation ratio which is X that is what we are looking over 4.125 in inch is equal to the ratio between this two one thousand six hundred six over 1238 so you solve this for x x equals 5.351 inch so this is this is the distance between chicago and el paso in a map in a, in a in a map yes so this is in inches okay then states the answer the distance between chicago and el paso on a u.s map is 5.351 inch then i have here complex numbers uh, addition of all complex numbers simply you add the real and the other imaginary so this is 7 minus 4 plus 3 will give you 6 then 3i minus minus 2i is 5i 5i plus i is 6i Okay. then multiplication you multiply two complex numbers those are conjugate complex numbers that gives you 97 the multiplication of two conjugate complex numbers is always real then you have division of two uh, imaginary complex numbers then you will end up minus one plus two i 
so that was the introduction uh, of this this is this video was just an introduction uh, thank you and uh, have a nice day bye